Hola, this is Senor Hodge, and I want to show you what I found to be the easiest way to learn and to teach colors in Spanish. So right here on the screen, you'll see a picture of Santa Claus, and our color is red. Red in Spanish is rojo. Rojo has a J in it, but remember J makes an H sound, rojo. Rojo kind of sounds like ho, 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 like Santa goes ho, 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 we have rojo. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our hands, put it on our big Santa belly, and go ro, ho, ho, ho. Now don't go ho, 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 go ro, ho, ho, ho. Say ro, ho, ho, ho. And rojo is red. Next we have blue. Blue is azul. When the blue dog sneezes, he goes, ho, oh, ah, oh, azul. Can you do that? Ah. Huh? Ah, azul. Don't say achu, say azul. All right, let's see what we have so far. Ro, ho, ho, ho. Azul. Our next one is green. Green is verde. Imagine there was a holiday that was, you know, a holiday like Thanksgiving or Christmas or Valentine's Day, but on this holiday, all you did is celebrate bears. We would probably call it bear day. And if you can say bear day, you can say green in Spanish because it is bear day. So we're going to say bear day and then we're going to growl like a bear. Say bear day. Rawr! All right, so. Ro, ho, ho, ho. Azul. Verde. Rawr. All right. Next is yellow. Yellow is amarillo. And amarillo kind of looks and sounds like armadillo. That's what the picture here is of. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an armadillo out of our hand. Here's your hand. We have one, two, three, four feet and the long um, skinny head of the armadillo and say amarillo. You can have it walk back. Amarillo. Yeah. So, ro, ho, ho, ho. Azul. Verde. Rawr. Amarillo. Now, this next one doesn't have anything on it. It is blanco. Blanco is white. It's not black. That one's easy to get confused. It starts with a B, but it does not mean black. It means white. And we're going to point to the ceiling because the ceiling is blanco. Say blanco. All right. So, ro, ho, ho, ho. Azul. Verde. Rawr. Amarillo. Blanco. Next we have black. Black is negro. Think about if it was dark all the time, nothing would grow because plants need sunlight in order to grow. So think of no grow, change it a little bit, negro. Put your hand over your eyes and say negro. Good, let's keep moving forward. Next we have rosado. Rosado, kind of, you can kind of hear the word rose in the beginning, rosado. So pretend like you've got a, um, a beautiful rose and you're going to smell it, say rosado. Okay. Next we have morado. Now this one's a little tricky, um, but think about more shadow. And if you get rid of that sh from shadow, you're just left with morado. So for this, you are going to make um, a stance like you're making a shadow up against the wall and say morado. Okay, let's say we have so far. Ro, ho, ho, ho. Azul. Verde. Rawr. Amarillo. Oh. Blanco. Negro. Rosado. Morado. All right. Then we have gris. Grease reminds me of grease, like if you're working on a car or something that has oily, greasy parts to it. So you see the hands here? We're going to pretend like we're wiping off grease off of our hands and say, grease. All right. Good. We're almost done. Uh, there is There are two more. Our next one is cafe. Cafe means brown. 
And cafe kind of sounds like coffee, cafe. Oh, there should be a line over, an accent over the E too, but it's not here in this, um, in this picture on the word. But there should be an accent over the E. But cafe um, sounds like coffee, and it actually does mean coffee in Spanish too. It means both the color brown and the drink coffee. Just like in English for orange, we have orange the fruit and orange the color. Same sort of concept. So for this, you're going to take a sip of coffee, but we're going to be all fancy. You have to do the little fancy pinkies up. Cafe. Can you do that? Cafe. And lastly, a big word, but surprisingly not too hard. Orange is anaranjado. Think about this. Here's a picture of Anna. And Anna, she ran and she ran so hard, she got so tired, and she just said, oh, I'm tired. So if you can say, Anna ran hard, oh, then you got this. It's Anna ran hard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our arms like we're running, say, Anna ran hard. Good. All right, those are all of our basic colors in Spanish. Let's go back to the beginning and let's say them all one more time. Ro, ho, ho, ho. Azul, verde, rar, amarillo, blanco, negro, rosado, morado, gris, café. And anaranjado. All right, there we have it. Um, I wish you the best of luck on learning and teaching the colors in Spanish. Adios.